Saskatchewan wants small modular reactors, or SMRs. The province says getting nuclear power set up will help it get to net zero greenhouse gas emissions. But how does it all work? Well, I spoke to an expert for about 45 minutes just to have it explained to me. Here is what I found out. How are SMRs different? Unlike our existing coal-fired plants, these make power without carbon emissions. And SAS Power says if we want to replace those plants, SMRs just make sense. They'll produce small amounts of energy, enough to power about 300,000 homes, and they'll be about the same size as the plants we have now. The Crown also doesn't want all of our eggs in one basket. If we had one big facility producing a lot of power, then an outage there would affect a lot more people. So what is an SMR? It's a catch-all term that describes a number of different machines. Some use the same existing technology found in current nuclear reactors, others use brand new technology. Like the name says, they're smaller, both in size and output. The smaller size means they can be built out of modules at a factory and then shipped to where they're needed, like remote communities or northern mines. What currently exists in Canada? Only New Brunswick and Ontario use nuclear reactors right now. But their large reactors use technology from the 60s. Saskatchewan didn't go that route because SAS Power says our grid demands are different and we're not interested in building a large facility. Countries like China and Russia already have their own SMRs, but most countries, like us, are still in the design and development phase. So what do SMRs use? Uranium. But, Alex, doesn't Saskatchewan already produce uranium? It does, but we won't be able to use it. Most SMRs are using enriched uranium as fuel, but Canada doesn't have that technology, which means we'll need to buy it from other countries.